So with F1 2022 just over a week away, it's time for you guys to hashtag choose my team. Now back in 2020, we had an awesome series bringing Jordan GP back to life. We led them to both the drivers and constructors standings and it was an awesome series. You guys really, really enjoyed it. And I want to do something similar again where we bring back a classic team, but I haven't had any sort of immediate thoughts of what I want to do. So I thought I'd leave it over to you guys and we're going to have a vote over the next uh, week or so, um, a new vote every day where you guys will get to pick and uh, when the game comes out, whether I get a review code or when it comes out next Monday, um, that will be when I uh, start to produce content on it and implement our my team. Now, uh, I've split the categories up into four different sections so I've got some 2010s F1 teams I've got some uh, 2000s F1 teams pre 2000 and then some future or fantasy uh, F1 teams so I'll run you through all of them you can have a, a little nosy through a little think about it in today's video you can let me know down in the comment section because uh, there's going to be a wild card pick for the final round of voting um, from the comment section of this video so really looking forward to, to getting into it so how will it work well uh, as i say there's going to be four different bands of four teams so the 16 teams for you to choose from you get a, a separate vote um on monday tuesday wednesday and thursday uh, and then the four winners from those votes will go into a final along with a fifth wild card pick uh, for the final vote on Friday, which will ultimately decide uh, which F1 team I will be recreating and bring into glory in F1 2022. It is going to be absolutely amazing. I can't wait and obviously use the hashtag choose my team whenever you're commenting, uh, whenever you're talking about it on Twitter, anything like that. And we'll try and build up some real momentum going forward in the next week. Anyway, uh, let's talk you through the four different bands. I'm going to start off with uh, the sort of the, the least favourable for me of the uh, of the bands, and that's the potential future or fantasy F1 teams. So with this, I've sort of took some rumours from what might be happening in the next few years. Of course, widely accepted that these teams may well end up in F1 over the next few years. And I've thrown in one wildcard pick of a team I always used to create when I was uh, younger, after US F1 were, were gonna come into uh, the sport. So I'll start off with that one. Um, GB F1 and it's a great British uh, F1 team. And uh, it would all be based around British drivers, um, British livery, uh, that sort of thing. I think that would be quite a cool idea really. Um, but when USF1 were going to come in in 2010, I always sort of made a GBF1 team and, and made them uh, very uh, sort of Britain based. And uh, I think that would be a, a cool concept. The other three that I've went for as future uh, potential teams are Audi, of course, uh, Andretti Autosport and Porsche. So all teams that could well be ending up in F1 over the next few years, depending on how things go. Uh, the next one I want to talk about is pre-2000, so a long, long time ago now. Uh, of course, I've been playing Grand Prix World recently on the channel, and uh, that sort of built my love up again for retro F1 teams and uh, some four that I've picked, uh, four of my favourites. So we've got Tyrrell, of course, uh, were a massive team from 1970 all the way till 1998. They used various engines uh, and won world championships. Minardi, of course, everybody's favourite underdog, uh, 1985 to 2005 long history in the sport as well. Benetton, of course, Michael Schumacher's first world championship was one of Benetton uh, and some awesome liveries back in the 90s and, and early 2000s. And of course, uh, the Renault F1 team where Fernando won his championships, uh, the, the livery kind of based on the, the early Benetton vibes uh, from the 2000s. And the final one, Arrows. Everybody loves a bit of Arrows, uh, that beautiful orange livery. And uh, of course, having Damon Hill drive for them in 1997 when he was defending his title um, and they were in the sport from 1978 to 2002 so any one of those teams would be awesome uh, moving on to the 2000s then uh, getting up to towards more modern times Jaguar uh, is a team that I've picked out uh, so they use the Cosworth engines they were in the sport 2000 to 2004 of course Red Bull 
bought out Jaguar and they are the team that are uh, still here today dominating F1 at the moment. Uh, BMW Sauber, uh, an awesome team from 2006 to 2009. Of course Sauber is still in the sport but uh, BMW no longer involved. They, they pulled out uh, at the end of the 2009 season and uh, I always loved, I basically loved the drivers that, that drove for them. Of course Sebastian Vettel uh, made his debut for BMW Sauber um, back in 2007, I believe. And uh, Robert Kubica, Nick Heidfeld, Jacques Villeneuve was there in 2006. Uh, and yeah, I think that would be a, a really good team to bring back. And, and a nice livery as well, the, the white and blue and black uh, sort of look. And a little bit of red in there as well. I think that would be a really cool livery. Uh, Honda, of course. Jensen Button and Rubens Barrichello is, is the era I remember. But Takuma Sato being there as well in the early 2000s. Uh, Jack Villeneuve as well in there. Olivia Panis, I believe, uh, drove for them as well. Or, or maybe I'm getting... Um, my wires crossed there, but uh, yeah, um, the Honda Works team from 1999 to 2008, and of course they became Braun GP, and Braun GP is is the the option in there. I think that one might well uh, dominate this vote. Everybody loves a bit of Braun. The the underdogs that came in uh, at the start of 2009 dominated the season, and of course are now the Mercedes team. Um, and you know we know, all know what happened there with Mercedes but yeah Braun GP I think that would be a, a fantastic one to bring back and try and, and replicate that livery because it is one of my all time favourite F1 liveries it's, even though it's so basic that sort of luminous green um, yeah I, I, don't, I don't know why just really like that livery and uh, that brings us up to modern day so uh, the 2010s uh, so I picked out four teams from this era that no longer race in F1 and the first one is the Lotus F1 team so the team that was uh, took over Renault uh, from 2011 to 2015 and then was took over again by Renault so they're still in the sport as Alpine um, but that wonderful black and gold livery from 2011 to 15 uh, of course Kimi Raikkonen won races competed for the 2012 championship uh, really um, Roman Grosjean of course and uh, Pastor Maldonado in, in later years as well Nick Heidfeld, Robert Kubica I would have loved to have seen what he could have done with the 2011 uh, Lotus Renault car uh, Virgin uh, slash Manor uh, as well I was like them as Virgin in, in the first two years uh, I think it was 2010 and 2011 and then they, they turn into Marussia uh, and Manor Racing uh, from 2010 to 16, obviously using the Cosworth and, and Mercedes engines, uh, and, and Timo Glock was a driver, Lucas de Grassi, Jules Bianchi, of course. Um, and I think they, if they were still in the sport, they would almost become the new Minardi. I think they were very much the, the underdogs um, of, of sport and the ones that people supported. Uh, the next one, a team I've really enjoyed watching over the years, Force India, um, and particularly that sort of orange, white and green uh, Indian flag inspired livery. I just miss that being on the grid so much and I would love to bring that back. Um, and some of the drivers that have driven for them, Paul DeResta, Nico Hulkenberg, of course, uh, really looking forward to maybe bringing them back. And of course, HRT, who can forget the slowest of all of the new teams back in 2010 with Bruno Senna and Karun Chandok. Um, I think Sakon Yamamoto and Christian Kleen also drove for them as well. Uh, and then obviously 2011 and 2012, you've got Noreen Carthur Kane in there, you've got uh, Pedro De La Rosa, Vitantonio Liuzzi, and Daniel Ricciardo made his uh, debut for HRT back in 2011. So I think uh, that would be a really awesome team to try and bring back, and that would be a pure backmarker challenge and, and trying to uh, get them up the order um, and trying to win championships with them. That would be a real challenge. But uh, there you have it, 16 teams that I've picked um, to, to bring in. So yeah, uh, let me know down in the comment section uh, what you think will be the uh, the outcome. Who do you, who would you like to see come into the sport, into uh, to my team, and of course use the hashtag choose my team. And uh, it's I'm really looking forward to it. It's going to be a great series. We uh, had a wonderful time with, with Jordan. Had a break from it last year. Went back to a, a driver career mode last year. 
um, but really fresh and, and reinvigorated to uh, try some more my team this year and lead the team to glory. And of course, there's different things that you can customize your team with this year of where you'd start. So you can start as a front runner. We won't be doing that. Uh, we'll definitely be doing either a back marker or midfield runner, depending on which team we are bringing back. But um, yeah, let me know down in the comment section below what, what sort of teammates would you like me to bring in of course i think nico hulkenberg is one of the icons this year so i'd really love to bring him in he's uh, my favorite driver uh, just sad he's not on the grid at the moment but yeah hopefully we can bring him back um and what sort of liveries would you like me to bring back because despite the team potentially being brown gp or force india or tyrrell uh, my plan is to bring back some classic liveries from all over the shop for multiple seasons. Of course, we'll start off with that team's classic livery, and if they have multiple classic liveries, then we'll we'll build on them first, and then uh, we'll bring in our own liveries. So I'm thinking bring back the Vodafone McLaren livery, for instance, the Gulf uh, McLaren livery from uh, 2020, I think it was, or 2021. Uh, and, and that sort of thing, that sort of idea, bringing in liveries uh, that you guys would like to see. But yeah, that is pretty much it. That's part zero, if you like, or part negative one of the series. Because of course, we'll have to have a part zero where we're talking through which team has come through and what sort of restrictions we're going to put on the series, what sort of liveries we're going to go for, drivers, engines, that sort of thing. So yeah, uh, we'll call this part negative one of the series yeah you can see the maths teacher in me but hopefully you've enjoyed it hopefully you're looking forward to doing the votes make sure you keep an eye out on the community page uh on the channel over the next few days because those votes will be coming out they'll last for 24 hours or so before i take the results and then of course there'll be a wild card pick from the comment section of today's uh video to get that wild card fifth team in there to see if they can uh shock the rest of them but uh, yeah, hopefully you've enjoyed. If you're looking forward to it, give it a big thumbs up down below. Subscribe, of course, for plenty of F1 content over the coming weeks with F1 Manager 22 coming out as well. We've got the F1 Championship Edition uh, playthrough going on. That's going to be intermittent over the next few weeks. Grand Prix World will be coming back to the channel. It's a really exciting time if you enjoy the F1 stuff on the channel. So yeah, leave a like if you enjoy. Subscribe for more. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Thanks for watching. And goodbye.